Hello everyone, let's talk about the new combo system with RPG Builder 1.1. So before I get started, I just want to make sure we're on the same page when I talk about combos. So in RPG Builder, a combo is basically a way for you to define a chain of abilities that will be starting by one ability and end by another one. So what I mean by this is to have some context here. I am on a warrior character, right? And we don't have any abilities in our bar except quick strike. So technically we should only be able to use one ability, right? But now when I use quick strike, you see that I actually um, chain or cycle through up to three abilities in this case, right? And the reason for that is because in my database right now, I have a combo, which is set up to start with quick strike then go to quick strike 2 as you can see in the ui and then go to quick strike 3 and after that it's done i'm going to show you the ui again so we can take a look at it together and see what kind of information we have available to us so first of all we have the icon of the um next available combo ability right uh, i'm going to let it end and start it again and here you can see also that the icon is not only visible here but it's also replacing the main icon from the ability we just used so the icon from quick strike one um, is actually being replaced by quick strike two if you take a look now it's going back to normal and now it's going to show the combo uh, icon Anyway, here we have a bar and a text, which are both representing the amount of time we have left to use this specific combo. At the end, it's going to just disappear and it's not going to be available to us anymore. Lastly, we have the name of this um, combo ability and we also have the, the key, which is required to be pressed. And this is something I'm going to come back a bit um, when I show you the editor part, but pretty much you have an option to either use or request the same key as the first one so in this case mouse 4 and that's the case for all those abilities we just press the same uh, buttons that the base ability has and it's going to work or you have the option to actually override the key required for this combo so for example we could start with mouse 4 but then now it will require f1 and then f2 or whatever right um so now as you can see this combo is um, first an attack which is going to hit only the closest unit from me the second one is still a melee attack but this time we are hitting up to four targets and the last one is like this big cone hitting all enemies in front of us now on the editor side of things um, i want to show you how this works so here we have our abilities the reason i'm only seeing those three here is because i have a filter but um, yeah, this is pretty much just a normal abilities or rather these are normal abilities that you include in your combos, just like you are used to in RPG Builder. They can be anything you want, um, no restriction on that part. So you have really full control on what your combos are. For example, you could start with a melee attack and then the last um, ability from the combo could be like a fireball or whatever. Actually, I might just create this combo in the video just to show you how easy it is. Um, anyway, for the combo part, it's actually its own module, as you can see now, which is new. And you can go under combat and combos. Here we have a few already set up. So um, this is for something I want to show you a bit later. But here, if we look at the quick strike, we first have a few information. This is really not that important, but it's mostly um, a way for you to identify the name of your combo extra. But what matters here are everything from here to here. So first we have the start ability. This is whatever ability you want to be starting this combo, right? So in this case, you see that I assign quick strike. You can of course uh, assign any of your custom abilities, but this means whenever we use quick strike, this combo will now be started, right? Um, below this, we have an option reset other combos so let me give you some context to explain a bit what this does imagine that in your action bar right now instead of my current setup where i only have one ability imagine that you have like five ability or ten or whatever um imagine that from those ten abilities you have more than one which can start a combo so let's say the fireball ability starts its own combo also right um now if i will go ahead and press the fireball ability 
it will now start the fireball combo. Now, what if I press the quick strike ability? So this basically lets you decide if it should now cancel the fireball ability and only give you the option to, you know, progress in the quick strike combo, or if the fireball combo should still be active and available to you. So if this is on, it's going to only lock you now in the quick strike combo. If this is off, other previously active combos are still available. And here we have the list of all the chain abilities. So if I create a new one, as you can see, it starts at zero, of course, but you can add as many as you want. I'm going to go back to quick strike. So here you see that the first um, ability in the list or rather in the chain um, abilities, right, is quick strike two. So we start with quick strike. It is now triggering the combo. And now we have next available to us quick strike two. And then after that, quick strike free, right? And this, of course, can be anything you want. But let's see a bit how these are defined. Well, first of all, we have to assign an ability, right? So in this case, like I said, it's quick strike two. Ability known. So uh, what this means is, should this ability be something your player learned from a spell book, a talent tree, or something like that? Uh, in this case, it's not because I don't want Quick Strike Two and Quick Strike Three to actually be presented in the UI anywhere, except um, they still need to exist. But basically, if this is off, it's going to allow you to use those abilities without actually knowing them, right, and learning them. Require hit. So if this is off, um, just right, just like it is now. If I use quick strike, you see that we are, you know, we are able to process um, the combo. Now, let me go back to combos quick strike. Now, if you would turn require hit on, it means you will not be able to. Um, use this combo or start this combo if the previous ability did not hit. So this, for example, if this was on, it will require quick strike one to hit. If this was on, it will require quick strike two to hit, right? So you have full control over that and it's pretty cool. Below that is the expire time. So for this video, I left it to 15, but now I'm going to set it both to two. And if I go back in game, and use quick strike, you see that it's a lot faster now. Um, it's a kind of like window we have available to us. Still very much doable, but um, yeah, that's up to you how long you want this to be um, available to your players. And depending on the combo itself, you have full control once again. Now, the last thing is about the key that is required to press. So um, in this case, as you can see, it's always the base key, so mouse four, then mouse four again, and mouse four again, right? Now, if I will go ahead here and um, assign this one to not using initial key, but instead maybe something like F1. If I now use quick strike, you see that here it's showing F1 and no longer um, mouse four. So yeah, you have full control once again over um, like the key override that this combo could use or should use, but it's optional. Um, but it is very useful in some cases. So for example, if I will go here um, and create another combo, and if they will both use, uh, if they will both start from quick strike, but you know, they have different abilities, then if, we, if they all use initial keys, it means that um, the two combo are going to require the same key, which doesn't really make sense, right? But I'm going to cover this in a bit. First, before that, I wanna show you how quick and easy it is to uh, add a new combo, like ability in the chain. So let's add something after a quick strike free, and I'm going to add um, the fireball ability. I'm going to leave the settings as is, just save and go back in game. So now we still have our quick strike, quick strike two. Oh, well, I forgot to um, set this one back. I want it to be initial key. So I'm going to save it again. So now we have quick strike one, quick strike two, quick strike three and fireball. So as you can see, of course, it doesn't make that much sense. I mean, I think it's still pretty cool, to be honest, <laughs> to us kind of smooth. But yeah, we start with uh, some melee attacks and the last one is a fire projectile. Um, and it works perfectly, right? It's just um, smoothly going from one to another and so on. Now, 
I want to show you how to easily, um, you know, like have multiple combos active together. So for example, here, let's say that I'm now going to remove this fireball node here, but instead I'm going to have it here. So I'm going to assign the fireball ability here. And this one is not going to be the initial key, but it's going to be um, F1 instead. Now I'm going to save. You see that both quick strike combo and fireball combo are set to be triggered by quick strike, right? Which means that now, if I go back in game and use my quick strike, you see that we now have two options for our combos. Um, I'm going to set the time a bit higher just so that we can have a bit more time to look at it. Maybe 10 seconds and 10 seconds. So quick strike. And now you see that we have fireball and quick strike two, and they both have their own duration, their own keys, icon, etc. So now I'm going to go ahead and for example, I could use, um, let's say, I don't know, I could decide to use, for example, only the uh, fireball, right? So I will go ahead and use fireball and beam, the other one um, will be gone. You also have control over, like I showed a bit before, um, if when using a combo, should the other one be cancelled? Should they still be active, etc. You have control over that. Um, just one last thing I want to show you in the combo editor is that if I go to quick strike, for example, is that as you can see here, they have actually a um, requirement list option here. Each of those one, right? It's not for the entire thing. It's for each of those individual combo abilities. They can have their own requirements and as many as you want. So in this case, for example, uh, let's say we have the quick strike combo, right? But we wanted this combo to actually only start if um, a specific quest line was, let's say, kill eight bears. If this quest line was uh, abandoned or failed or whatever, this is totally possible. If I would now go ahead and save, we will not be able to use Quick Strike 2 unless the um, quest Kill 8 Bears is ongoing. But this is not only uh, limited to that, you can have uh, things related to dialogue uh, lines, weapon template level, ability known, for example, only for specific races, classes. Uh, you could even have like a specific item and even consume the item if you wanted to. Um, all kind of things, right? So this is another layer of um, freedom and customization that you have access to. And like I said, it's uh, for each of those abilities though. This one could have its own requirement, this one could have its own requirement and so on. So that's pretty much all. That's all I wanted to show. Um, maybe just one more thing. I want to show you how easy it is to tweak those combos, but pretty much it's just uh, normal abilities, right? So let's say that now, for uh, Quick Strike 3, I wanted to apply a um, knockback effect. So I'm just going to attach this to the Quick Strike 3 abilities. I could set a specific chance to um, happen. So for example, maybe let's say 33%. Now I'm going to go in game and let's see if we're lucky to have it proc um, immediately. So we have the, uh, wait, I'm going to actually disable the other one because I don't want it for now. So fireball, I'm just going to remove um, the first combo nodes. And now we should be left with only the quick strike combo. So quick strike. All right. As you can see, um, only two of the NPCs got knocked back because it's a 33% chance to be applied. And this is going for each combat node, right? For each NPC extra. Um, so that's pretty cool. Up a few more. But as you can see, uh, very quickly, we were able to tweak this combo and um, yeah, change the, the way it's affecting and the way it's working in the, in the game, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this video is already quite long. I hope you like it. I'm very, very satisfied with the system. I think we're going to all have a lot of fun. Um, of course, not everyone is going to use that. It's not going to fit in every game design, but it's a very, very cool system and it's so easy to use. I'm very, very happy with um how I implemented that. So let me know what you think about it in the YouTube comments as well as in Discord. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.